Hey guys, welcome back to another one of our videos. Uh, in this video, I'm going to install uh, connecting rods on this black combing 0320 crankshaft. Today we're installing these overhauled connecting rods onto a crankshaft. This is the start of the assembly process for this light combing 0320 engine. We already overhauled these connecting rods and if you'd like to see more of how that process is done, I'll make sure to put a link at the top of the video. Be sure to check that out and let us know what you think. The large end of the rods were torqued up and measured and then we installed a new piston pin bushing and honed it to the proper diameter. Right now you'll see me putting assembly grease on the bearings before torquing it onto the crankshaft journal. These are brand new bearings, new bolts, and new nuts. The bolts and nuts should be replaced every time they're taken off of these connecting rods. These light combing connecting rods should be installed with rod number on the bottom towards the oil sump. After running the nut down finger tight, they get torqued to 480 inch pounds. That torque spec can be found in the light combing overhaul manual. The most important thing after each connecting rod is installed and torqued is to make sure that it moves freely without any drag. If there is any drag, tight spots, or rough sound while moving the connecting rod around, it's important to take the time to take it off, wipe down the bearing and crankshaft journal, and then reinstall the connecting rod. It's not fun to take the extra time to redo it, but it is always worth doing it right the first time. We'd really appreciate it if you take just three seconds to like this video. Just scroll down and click that thumbs up button. I'll even wait for you. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. We'll do our best to answer them all. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to our channel.